Hi there and wow, am I glad you clicked on this video. You may think it was by accident, but I assure you God led you here for a reason. You see, he knows exactly what you're going through right now and how desperately you need encouragement. So please, whatever else you had planned today, set it aside. This video was specially crafted with you in mind by the one who knows your story and wants the very best for you. I promise, if you give me your full, undivided attention for the next few minutes, God will speak directly to your situation and you will leave here feeling uplifted and with renewed hope. So get comfortable, clear your mind of distractions and open your heart. God has perfectly timed words of life just for you. Let's dive in. Friends, have you ever found yourself in a difficult situation in life where you didn't know what to do or how to get through it? Where obstacles seemed insurmountable and your way forward was not clear at all? Where you felt overwhelmed with fear, stress, anxiety, sadness or pain? Where you felt all alone and like there was no one who could help you or understand what you were going through? If so, you're definitely not alone. At some point in our lives, most of us will face challenges, trials, or hard times that test us deeply and leave us asking, God, how do I handle this? Today, I want to encourage you by sharing some biblical principles for how we can find direction, comfort, strength, and peace from God when facing difficult circumstances in our lives, no matter what they may be. My goal is not to give overly simplistic answers but to remind us that our loving Heavenly Father is always there for us, ready and willing to help us through every problem and trial as we turn to Him in faith. So, how do we handle the difficult situations in life that leave us asking, God, how do I handle this? The first step is to acknowledge our need for God. Proverbs 3, 5, 6 says, Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways submit to him, and he will make your path straight. When life gets hard, it's natural for us to want to rely on our own understanding and try to fix things ourselves. But God's word calls us to submit our way to him instead of relying on our own limited understanding. This means coming to God honestly about what we're facing, recognizing that only he has the wisdom, power, and perfect plan to lead us through. The second thing God calls us to do is wait on Him in faith as we face difficulties. Isaiah 40, 31 says, But those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength. They will soar on wings like eagles. They will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not be faint. Difficulties will come that feel like they require impatient action on our part. But God promises that those who wait for Him patiently and in faith will find their strength renewed. When we're tempted to act on our own in haste, this verse reminds us of the power of calmly and expectantly waiting for God to work things out in His perfect time and way. As we wait on God, the third thing He calls us to do is pour our heart out to Him in prayer. 1 Peter 5, 7 says, Cast all your anxiety on Him because He cares for you. God wants us to bring all our cares, worries, stresses, fears, everything weighing us down, and unload it all before him in prayer. Talk to him honestly about how you're really feeling and what you're going through without holding anything back. Tell him your confusion, doubts, questions, all of it. Prayer is how we communicate our dependence on him and open our hearts to receive his peace, direction, and help. Jesus himself models this for us, as we see him often withdrawing to lonely places to pray even when under immense pressure or facing his hardest moments. A fourth principle is that we must choose to focus on God, not on our problems or difficulties. Isaiah 26, 3 encourages us by saying, You will keep in perfect peace those whose minds are steadfast, because they trust in you. When challenges come, it's so easy for our minds to spin with anxiety, overanalyzing worst-case scenarios or replaying past failures, but God calls us to steadfastly set our minds on Him instead of on our problems. This brings the promised peace that surpasses all understanding. Choosing to meditate on God's promises, faithfulness, wisdom, and power, rather than obsessing over our worries, helps renew our hope and perspective. 
Fifthly, God calls us to keep walking by faith, even when we can't see the way forward or outcome with our physical eyes. 2 Corinthians 5. 7 says, We live by faith, not by sight. Faith is believing in God and what He has said even when nothing in our current circumstances looks hopeful. It's continuing to obey and follow God one step at a time, even when we don't have all the answers or see how things will work out in the end. God honors and strengthens this kind of childlike faith that trusts in Him above what our natural sight can perceive. Another principle is found in Romans 8.28, which promises, And we know that in all things God works for the good of those who love Him, who have been called according to His purpose. Even in the most painful difficulties, God is sovereignly at work behind the scenes to take what the enemy meant for harm and use it for our good and His glory. His ultimate purpose is to conform us more into the image of Christ through every experience, so we can have confidence that difficulty doesn't take God by surprise. He permits it for a reason and will use it for our benefit if we remain faithful to Him. This perspective helps shift our focus from the trial itself to what God desires to teach and grow us into through it. A further principle is that God never promises to eliminate all our challenges, but rather promises to walk with us through them. Isaiah 43, 2 says, when you pass through the waters, I will be with you. And when you pass through the rivers, they will not sweep over you. When you walk through the fire, you will not be burned. The flames will not set you ablaze. His presence is what sees us through, not necessarily avoiding the waters or fire, but being right there with us as we go through them. His comfort, strength and guidance is what carries us and sees us to the other side of every test. His faithful companionship enables us to face anything as long as we keep our eyes on Him step by step. Finally, God promises that He will be our refuge, shelter, and protection when life feels overwhelming. Psalm 91 says, Surely He will save you from the fowler's snare and from the deadly pestilence. He will cover you with His feathers, and under His wings you will find refuge. His faithfulness will be your shield and rampart. In whatever form trouble comes, be it relational, emotional, physical, financial, or spiritual, God is our refuge. His loving protection is higher than any mountain and more secure than any fortress. Running to Him, abiding in His presence beneath the shelter of His wings, is where we will find the rest and resilience to not lose hope even when faced with difficulties on every side. In conclusion, when faced with troubles that leave us asking, God, how do I handle this? God graciously points us to principles found in His Word that can guide us. But putting them into action requires daily choosing faith over fear. It requires humbly acknowledging our need for God's help rather than relying on ourselves. It demands waiting patiently on Him in prayer rather than acting rashly. And it means fixing our eyes on who God is and what He has promised rather than on the size of our problems. Though the path may not always be clear, we can be confident that as we walk closely with our faithful Father, He will sustain us, lead us, and cause all things to work for our good and His glory. Let's then make a choice to respond to difficulty with hope in God, rather than hopelessness. Let's embrace even what we don't understand, assured of His goodness, wisdom, and sovereignty overall. Friends, may you find the peace and strength you need from your loving Heavenly Father for whatever challenges you're facing today, simply by turning to Him in prayer and holding fast to His Word. He always makes a way, even when there seems no way.